It is 7.19 here on Breakfast Television. Time now to check in with News 1130's business editor, Mike Apple. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, okay. For the most part. Yeah, like settling in nicely. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, just uh, back to the home office this morning, and it's uh, the, you know, the, sort of the new normal, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. So let's start with uh, Air Transat. The airline lays off 70% of its staff. Yeah, this is the... Uh, continued fallout of these airlines shutting down services. As of April 1st, Air Transat pretty much be grounding all of its flights worldwide. Uh, so 70% of the staff will be furloughed, furloughed by then, and that's 3,600 employees all totaled. Um, the executives and others who are still working will see a pay cut short term. But this is, uh, again, Mary, just a, a small portion of what we're seeing in the business community right now with companies adjusting their business model and hoping in the short term that that various governments will pony up some cash to again help employees through this uh, hopefully short term transition that they're going to be dealing with. You know, do you do you continue to pay employees even though they're on layoff? Who pays for that? Is that government's government backstop? Because a lot of these companies don't have the money to do that on a short-term basis. Transat's also trying to be bought out by Air Canada, and that deal is not a sure thing now because of all this, because their stocks have dropped so much. We're also hearing about Bombardier today, uh, looking at potentially not selling its major businesses because same problem. Pricing of previous deals that were announced just weeks ago, it's anyone's guess right now what they're actually worth. So Bombardier stock is dropping on the TSX. The markets are seeing pretty uh, calm. I want to say it's calm simply because we're not seeing a dramatic move for the main benchmarks in the early trade this morning. But that's only because the U.S. Central Bank has announced a massive bond buying program to uh, buy up government debt and mortgage-backed securities, again, in an effort to stabilize the market. So right now it is tentative. It's the unknown. We've seen the TSX, you know, drop uh, by 13% over the previous week and this morning down just a few points, actually, in the early going. So comparatively speaking, we'll take that. By the way, the New York Stock Exchange is also uh, not having any floor trading activity today uh, and going forward because a couple of their traders on the floor have the, the, the coronavirus, so they're shutting that down. It's fully electronic. So that's a symbol as well about the uh, changing dynamic of the U.S. business uh, activity right now. Hey, Mike, so real quick, you mentioned in your note this morning that some comp companies are actually switching their production. Yes, uh, Labatt's and uh, some of the smaller breweries, breweries are shifting to making uh, hand sanitizer. I mean, it's alcohol-based, right? So theoretically, you, 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 you change a couple of the vats over. Um, I don't know the, the scientific premise behind this or what have you, uh, but that's what they're trying to do. And this is what a lot of companies are looking at doing. Okay, do we shift our production uh, to medical supplies? How easy is that? What are the logistics? How do you get it out into the medical community? What's the time frame? So they're looking to adapt how long it's going to take and to what end. Still the big unknown, but they're trying. Yeah, well, I appreciate the effort. Thank you so much, Mike. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. It is 7.23 here on BT. Ottawa will pass an emergency economic aid package this week, but it could be months before Canada emerges from the COVID-19 crisis.